Hey, what's up, guys? It's Oakley, and we're gonna be playing some Shogun 2. Beautiful, as always, in the snow. I'm gonna be playing actually a 2v2, nice 2v2, with Indie Pride. So he's gonna be off in the distance with his awesome customized blue army. My force is gonna be more red and pink. And our opponents are going to be from the one clan, so they're getting off uh, to a furious start. So let's go ahead and put this on slow motion just so we can see what's going on here. So it's the initial cavalry skirmishing that's going up front. I'm going to be poking out with, of course, my bow cav, uh, backed up by some yari cav. And I just want to start poking and prodding. They're going to be seizing this area with a bunch of light cav, kind of screening some yari cav. So an interesting mix there. And uh, I actually have some units in the back sneaking into positions. So these are going to be uh, two Kisho ninjas moving into the back. So yeah, I'm going to be doing some kind of baiting my bow cav. want to tear up these light cav just to keep them off this position. I'm moving up with Nagana and a Samurai. My main core of infantry is going to be these uh, Nodachi. And then to hold firm with my long Iari Ashigaru. And then I'm going to position myself on the right flank to support Bo Ashigaru and then some matchlocks. Indy Pride himself is played out here in a very, very tactical uh, pike and shot box. Um, this, this is something you see all the time, pairing up Matchlock Samurai with some Yari Ashigaru. Uh, very hard to chew through that, so it's uh, it's a good setup he's got going up there. And in the back he's got Nagina and Attendance to charge, swarm, tie down the enemy, and then probably, yep, Nodachi in the back. Good mix there. Calvary on the wing, so relatively traditional. Um, let's take a look at the one clan. So they're going to be moving up again um, with these blocks of infantry. This time Naginata attendants being next to the matchlocks. And Naginata warrior monks are pretty fierce uh, flank. And let's get some nice actual shots of these forces as they're moving up. Shogun 2 is just one of the most beautiful games uh, out of all the Total Wars. So again, an interesting matchup how both of these guys have light cav in the front. I don't find that it's too effective. Uh, but uh, we'll see how they can uh, they can end up microing those guys. So again, long lines of matchlocks in the front, backing that up with attendants. So similar mix to what uh, Indie Pride was doing. Over on this front, I was able to charge with my Yari Cav against enemy Yari Cav, and I'm going to engage with some Mojo babies. So I'm being able, you know, to drive off the opponent, getting some good engagements as the opponent gets pulled out of position. I then shoot him with my bow cav. So I did take some significant losses right there. Um, so did my opponent. To his light cav. I'm now swarming through the left with my Naginata Samurai to try and tie that down. Over through the center, he tried to do a counter push against me, but that is the power of the bow cav. They can shoot up these weakly armed Naginata warrior monks. So I'm able to keep him at bay just with my bowmen. Really good troops, but they just can't engage uh, right now. Over here, they're going to charge with the big Naginata rush. And it's going to be similar moves from Indy where he's going to counter charge with his own Naginata. So I find these engagements always to be kind of routine. Um, the MVP style of plays to, uh, or not MVP, MLG style of plays to use these Naginata meat shields. And so you can see kind of similar forces coming against each other. It's going to be very rush heavy though. Um, charges coming along the front here. Looks like Cavalry was trying to get around the side. Indy's going to be quick with his micro and try and eliminate that threat. So clashing up through the front, over on the right flank, trying to hold this side, putting some pressure on those guys. Indy is tying these forces down. It looks like we have a minor engagement here with attendance just to delay that push. Indy is tied up the center, beat back the initial assault, and now in the middle he's starting to threaten with some Yari Cav. I'm doing the same thing here. I'm pushing through the middle with my Bow Cav just to try and push through the opponents. They're going to nonetheless charge through the middle. I'm now going to, you know, reign supreme with my cavalry, getting around the flanks against his guys' reinforcements. Kisho Ninja is coming in through the back. And I'm trying to get my bow cab in a position to shoot the rear of his men. However, his Naginata warrior monks got into my own uh, Naginata samurai. Should be a pretty epic engagement. So his guys are heavily vetted up. And it looks like they're going to defeat my men um, with war cry and all that. That's going to break both of my guys. But he invested a lot of money, whereas I didn't as much. And then my bow cab here is going to be allowed to do some, uh, some excellent damage. The main line is now going to come crashing up through my men. However, these big swords, tiny dicks, <laughs> the unit names are always funny, are against these Yari Ashigaru, long Yari Ashigaru, so I can hold that pretty effectively. You can see his unit of uh, attendance is actually going to break, whereas, yeah, the Nodashi is also going to break. The center is being tied down with my Katana Samurai. I should be able to hold that. I have some Nagana Samurai very heavily armored to um, hold that back. And then my own bow guys still continue to get some shots off against his attendants. And then I have free cav in the rear. So the opponent has been locked into combat. Both of our cavalry is looking to land some hammer and anvils. I'm getting the best of those engagements. My opponent not being able to do that just yet because I have some Naginata Samurai in the back. And there are engagements back here as well um, where I'm trying to tie these guys down. In the center, Indy has kind of um, 
pushed through the center, and now the opponents are going to try and flank and surround him. It's kind of a 2v1 here. It's hard to keep track with all these different colors and the various um, samurai forces, but uh, essentially, if you look on the map here, blue is going to be indie, so we kind of attack through the center, and then we're being um, surrounded on the side. So Indy is getting shot to pieces by uh, one Dragoon. But Indy was kind of double teamed, so that's why I'm sending in some Bokev to help reinforce somewhat. Indy's guys are still alive, so he's keeping his general uh, and his fire cav still alive. So he's trying to pull back, trying to get this cav engaged, um, trying to hit up some of these warriors. So it's going to be a fighting retreat. Um, and Indy actually has some free cav left, so that's an excellent... Um, position for us is going to keep us, uh, you know, the, the ability to contend with these guys, display. keep them from swarming and chasing us. So he's going to tag and go uh, basically with these guys with Cav, throw them in, do some nice strikes, and then retreat with the rest of the force. Wait for me to reinforce. Uh, one Dragoon is going to try and get in on this fight. My Bokev are going to peel out of there. Meanwhile, I have some Matchlocks unleashing, exchanging fire with Matchlock Warrior Monks. He's going to get the better of that advantage. However, in the meat of this engagement up through here, I'm actually going to do pretty well. My ninjas came back to save the day, and they're going to be throwing bombs in and on uh, amongst the uh, Naginata guys. And the, my guys have heavy attacks, so they're going to be you know, killing his units pretty splendidly right through here. So you can see, yeah, because these guys were previously engaged, my guys have high attack. I'm going to be doing pretty significant amounts of damage against his forces here. And these are some Naginata tenants mixed in. Plus, I still have my General's Bodyguard, who was trying to do a duel with the enemy General's Bodyguard. We both kind of chickened out of that engagement. I'm here to pop some Rally Abilities to keep my ninjas in the fight to break this force. And then my Naginata Samurai here, with high armor, are just have incredible staying power. And so they've been able to hold this position. So I've been whittled down pretty severely in number. Um, but I have key units coming back from the fight. So these Matchlock guys, who I'm going to peel about to try and take out these enemy Warrior Monks. And I still have my Bokev charging into these guys just to try and save Indy's forces so Indy doesn't have much left that's kind of it uh, and he does still have one unit of cav uh, two units very depleted trying to, to rally but they were enough to distract that force from uh, on that side and we still have a pretty dangerous matchlock warrior monk unit at half strength very very strong however they did waste their volley against my Kisho uh, ninja unit so I'm gonna charge in with my general just bowl these guys over, getting some nice kills. Looks like the enemy general is going to take this as an opportunity to counter strike against my guys. My general is a half leadership, half melee general, so he should do pretty well uh, in this engagement. Let's take a look uh, how it fares. 10 men against 13 men, so I do have the advantage in that side, and it looks like. Yeah. Looks like my guy just has uh, some of the better stats. The opponent is going to start to dwindle, and this could be a big blow for us if we were able to kill the enemy general. Let's watch this engagement. Oh my god! My uh, my ninja is lending a hand right through there, and it actually didn't kill my general. So these guys, excellent marksmen. You can see them posing. So the ninja is kind of a, a funny a funny idea to bring ninjas to this fight. Um, they're still alive. They are going to get charged by the Yari Cav. However, I'm getting them up against this structure to try and uh, you know get a little bit of protection and they're gonna get flattened somewhat but it is pulling in the enemy cav and allowing me to get some bow fire you can see from on top of the hill and in melee I'm not doing too poorly so there goes his guys running off but uh, now I have a nice Naginata blob here high armor so I can hold out against cav and then I have bows uh, my bow cav kind of nested in this nice protection um, so I can chase off the enemy forces at this point in time. Um, basically, this is all that's left. We're coming in here. We have a fair amount of units um, still remaining. Some matchlocks over here. And my own... Oh, God. These ninjas are throwing bombs amongst my own men. Huh. Looks like it didn't go off. It's a very imposing sight. But yeah, my ninja is desperately trying to stay alive. Ah, oh, there, the bomb went off. I'm um, sending in reinforcements. Here come the Naginata. My general even trying to get some of this action, but uh, these Yari Cav are not having it. So he's trying to do delaying tactics, trying to tie us up as long as possible, allow this force to come back, and let's see what they have coming back to meet us. So Naginata Warrior Monks. Almost a full Naginata Warrior Monk unit and a Naginata Attendant. So almost no range units and no cavalry left for them. Whereas we have um, some Bokev, Matchlocks. Oh, 
spoke too soon my guys are gonna get crushed but yeah I think I have more than enough to deal with those guys we're also capping in the shrine just to do a little bit more uh, for us this cap is being surprisingly annoying uh, getting in and amongst my men just dodging around refusing to die despite all the uh, the bow fire I'm pouring into them so you can see another volley and it didn't quite kill anyone um, pretty tenacious little buggers but uh, now Indy's basically calling me to reform to help his guys out. I noticed that he has no cap support, no archer support, no range support or nothing. Those guys finally broke, so what I'm going to do is charge ahead with my bokev and allow these guys to do what they will. And the enemy has kind of resigned itself to a, a picket's charge of sorts. So here they come amongst the bow fire. Um, oh, if you took a look on the left, one of those guys just got pinged. Try and see if we can get some nice shots. So here we go. Getting some volleys. I'm gonna wait till I'm just point blank range. And then we're gonna pull out. No um no Parthian shot on my cav, unfortunately. Otherwise they would be tearing these guys up. But uh very versatile nonetheless. And these guys are gonna get some flanking shots. Unfortunately, they seem to be going at the wrong target, so this is not gonna be good. Let's get some awesome shots of these guys charging. So they're actually gonna be able to break in these force. Um, however, my Naginata Samurai are here to greet them. So I'm reforming my men. I'm kind of letting Indy's guys take the charge. Mostly I wanted to use my bombs against them first. And let my bows do the damage before I engage with my foot troops. But here we go. Looks like we're going to get a counter charge. So I'm first going to charge his Naginata. Oh my god. The, the blood and gore on this um, game is insane. But there you go. They basically shattered. So that's taken care of. And now the remaining force down here is actually going to be underway. Um, these are against my matchlock, so he's easily going to clean those guys up. Um, so they're not they're not going down without a fight. And look at... Oh my god. These blood-soaked monks. Now they're going to be coming back up against my guys. We're playing this kind of sloppy, as you'll notice at the end. Letting them clean up some of our units. But at the end of the day... Um, it's okay. We have plenty of men left, and I just kind of wanted my, my bow cav to get as many kills as possible. They're kind of like my babies. Uh, I coddle them and try and get them as much XP as possible uh, before the battle's over. And now we get a, a clash right through here. Ooh, I haven't seen that animation. Yeah, it's been a while since I played some Shogun, uh, and it's cool to go back and see some of these awesome mo capped events. Uh, they're pretty extensive. I don't think they had decapitations at this point in time, um, but still, it's just really cool. And there it goes. Yeah, so we were able to clean that up. Looks like uh, I actually ended up having to save Indy, or you could have maybe taken it as I didn't support him early, early on in the battle. That's why he got wiped out, and that's why I had an easier time on my side of the battlefield. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. These Shogun 2 battles are always very, very quick, actually, uh, to get started. And once the engagement gets rolling, it's really hard to follow, especially with the custom... Uh, colors and flags. Sometimes it can be hard to follow, so I apologize for that, but nonetheless, I hope we were able to uh, to bring you some cool action. The, semantic, the uh, cinematics were enjoyable. Let's go ahead and end this battle and look at some of the uh, stats coming in through there at the end. I'm guessing at least that some of my Bokev will have racked up a fair amount of kills. Um, I kept them kind of shooting from the very start of the battle to the end of the battle. Um, and I do think they ended up paying for themselves most of the time. Indy, pride in my speaking to him, is not super impressed by them. Um, and yeah, look here, um, I was ragging on him, but he got more kills than I did. Um, and I got uh, basically the same amount of losses. So let's take a look at the unit stats. Um, sort this by kills. Yeah, my meat shield's getting a fair amount of kills. Those two Nakinata that held strong till the end. And then my bow cap here, 115. Mojo babies for Ashigaru units, 88 kills. Doing okay. Uh, if you recall, they're holding up enemy Nodachi. The rest of my do units doing okay. I think the Kisho Ninja play was kind of... I, w I was just doing it for shits and giggles. They didn't end up doing too much. I was hoping for more of an ambush. Um, but it took them too long to get to the battlefield once they were there. Um, the enemy kind of turned around and engaged me. So not super great. Um, these highly vetted Naginata Warrior Monks doing work. This Nodachi as well. So I may want to invest in some of those in the future. But you can see mostly their Yari Cav and other cavalry severely underperformed. And I think at the end of the day, that was the uh, the weak link on their part. Yeah, look at Indy's units. 243 kills on those guys. So definitely our Cav raking in the kills. And that's where I think the, the battle went downhill for our opponents. Yeah, again, you can see all the Cav here. Lowest kills right there. So that was the problem for our opponents. I wouldn't have used as many Light Cav. Probably used more Spears to back up their cavalry engagements. 
Um, but very, very fun battle. And uh, yeah, I'll end it here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. See ya. Peace out.